this is where it all started. This was the first barn in this town, what, 13 episodes ago? This barn, this house, and these were the starting fields. Seems like so long ago, but in reality it was like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry I'm getting all nostalgic on you, because I have a question for you guys. Uh, there's going to be a straw poll in the description, and... Or you can just leave a comment. Either way it works. So, the new Colonial Charter mod update came out, the Iron Curtain mod. Or the Iron Curtain edition, I guess they're calling it. And it is incredibly tempting. So incredibly tempting that I'm considering leaving this town and starting a new one. So in this episode, we're going to be going over this town, my thoughts on it, and the possibility of starting a new one. If you guys haven't seen the new mod, or the updated mod pack for Colonial Charter, it is amazing. Like, 30 new buildings. Uh, that's just a rough approximation. Bunch of new crops, whole bunch of new stuff that is just awesome looking, and I'm really excited for it. So I could start a new series. I could scrap this town. I'll scrap this town. It's kind of, it's complete. I think it's in a good place to com be completed. I know some people build towns of thousands of people and really efficient and good trading, etc. But I'm happy with this town of how it is, and so if you guys are happy with it as well, um, what I would do is basically finish this town off camera. I kind of present it to you and then start anew in the Colonial Charter Iron Curtain mod. So this is where we started. Uh, I started off the first episode with like these farms laid out because I kind of skipped the beginning update and starting fresh and having to sit here wait for supplies to gather. So we started here, started expanding south in terms of farming, housing, etc. Then we built our first mine way the heck out here because of this plains mod. Uh, only hills are way out there. And we did the standard gathers, huts, hunting cabins, woodcutters, etc. Never did finish this deep quarry, huh? They're probably still working on that. But then we started expanding north. And this is when the town really started turning into a town I'd actually like. We got this little... We have a little bit of some industrial area around here. We have a hospital, a tailor, not industrial, more commercial area. The dry storage, these buildings are really cool. What I like about the Colonial Charter mod is there's um, different types of buildings so it actually looks like a different time period, especially with these like, what is that, thatch? That's not the right word, but I'm thinking of that word for some reason. This is paneling and whatnot, and even in the Iron Curtain update there's a lot more of these kind of buildings. There's really cool ones. Parish houses, why is there no one working here? There we go. We then pop up to 80 members. Abbeys, whatnot. But then, um, once we started working on this area, I really started enjoying it more. We have the town hall. We never got to the castle in this one, fortunately. Hmm. Maybe we can do that in the next town. Town hall, we have these nice colonial manors. They're really nice looking. Did some nice decorations around the area. It's all looking pretty sweet. It's kind of centering it around the market, even though I should have built the market maybe, maybe over here. Hmm. And then I really like I really like this whole area, how we have the grid of these houses, but we also have enough randomness and organic shapes to make it seem seem realistic. An idea I had for the new town, if I do end up doing the new town, is to kind of I want to go and look up like colonial period towns and see how they're laid out and try to kind of match it after that. I'll see how my research goes. I'll definitely bring that up to you guys. And if you have any ideas or for anything like that for the night layout of the next town, definitely let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I really like how this area looks. Well, we're still building this hospital over here. And then we just have huge tracts of farmland up here. Just tons of it. Ooh, and a windmill. Never looked at the front of that windmill. It looks kind of silly. But it looks nice. Well, yeah, that's basically it. And then we have quarries up here and then the mines. So it really feels kind of small for 13 episodes. Only we had the boardwalk along the quote-unquote coast. <laughs> you know who you are. The, sorry, the riverbank. But yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot, but, I mean, this took us 
This is episode 13 of this series, and even with a ton of off-camera work, I mean, I'm pretty proud of it. Let's see what we got going on. We have, yeah, a pretty high population. A total of 465 citizens, so this is one of my biggest towns ever. So only 70% of them are clothed, 100% are educated though, so that's pretty sweet. Ah, oh, shift pickup got denied. Yeah, so this is more of a rambling episode, guys, but I really want to hear your opinions on this. I'm kind of biased towards starting a new town just because it's what I enjoy, and I think this town is relatively near completion. To kind of give this area some more structure, I surrounded all these farms and houses, so... We're going to have a population boom here because I laid down all of these just right right before recording this. So that's like another like 20 houses. Just trying to give it some more structure. Kind of end these farming areas. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with you guys. I think town looks pretty good. And I'm excited to try the new Colonial Charter mod. Or the update to the Colonial Charter mod. Anyway, sorry, it's the morning. I'm tired. I've been rambling. Well, it's not the morning, it's noon already. Holy crap! Where has today gone? So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and Merry Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas yet. It's the 23rd. It's getting there. Alright. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.